today we are going to start the chapter 9 which is called here zusammen leben living together and when someone wants to live together it doesn't mean that he or she only willing to live with a human being it means they can also think about the natural uh, things maybe the water maybe in the touch of uh, nature yeah it can be the rivers or maybe some uh, uh long we can say trees and any building any good furniture so when someone wants to live uh with happily or with someone something then these things we can say required for the happily life and the first picture you can see it is related to the uh, north sea and there is a particular area people are living there and that space living space is very small and uh, there are only two people who are living so there are only two resident in the second picture we have a house boat and uh, there is a river or maybe this this is a zee a uh, there zee lake and there is a uh, trees but uh, this type of house is always swing and uh, it also one can see their uh, mirror image also and uh, people enjoy living on the such type of houses it's wonderful experience photo drives in here as uh, skipped here i'm kleiner's house yeah there is a small house and uh, some we can say a uh, stool or the sofa or the dish yeah bed and uh, i'm uh, i'm spiel zeug so such things are there and basically if someone wants to live happily means how much uh, space is particularly required so we don't think ki ek insaan ko rehne ke liye ek kilometer jitna space chahiye ya bahut bada plot chahiye bada sa duplex house chahiye no if someone wants to live happily then chota sa space bhi kafi hota hai here in this fourth picture we can see uh, there is some meadows and green greenery and and the trees and uh, if we see the houses then there are very few houses so if we can say like uh, houses are very very few in the numbers and uh, maximum we can think like in a house 3 4 5 people are living so such houses we can call the kind of resorts also people like to go there in the particular time not for the whole year this is in the last picture a kind of church given but it is not being used as a church people are using it as a home and uh, the we can say this house is very open bright and lots of space is given there lots of interior is given and for the kids there is lots of open space available so these are the basic things a uh, few pictures given with the basic information and these all are related to the label living here of the next seite when we write again done haben wir ein paar aussage here the house tour the house tour means the house door hund belt ema there is a verb bellen bellen means to bark so bellen is here conjugated with hund hund belt ema means dog barks always reader abstellen verboten verboten is a verb it means something which is prohibited and reader in the bicycles and abstellen means to park so parking the cycles are 
prohibited. Sturen. Sturen means to disturb. So this dog barks in the night. Definitely it is disturbing for the people. If someone cooking in the balcony in the night, the smog will definitely disturb others. So sturen to disturb. Auch in der Nacht. Also in the night. Grillen means to grill. Kann nicht schlafen, cannot sleep. Der Rauch, the smoke. Es stinkt, it smells. Stinken is a word to smell. Eingang muss frei sein. Entrance must be free. Eingang is the entrance. So entrance must be free. Here are few expressions given. If someone wants to do the complain. So complain means zish beschweren, to complain. And zish and schuldigen, to say sorry. And ein Lincoln means to be in the corner or kind of ignorance. So here I give you two minutes to read all the expressions and underline if you don't able to understand the meaning of all these expressions. So just have two minutes, then we'll discuss. As the read all things given, Related to Zish Beshwaran. Yes, ma'am. As Stuart Mishwen. And what is Stuart? I trans. I'll translate it later. You just need to read. Okay. Ich finde es nicht gut, wenn Sie können doch nicht entschuldigen Sie. Können Sie bitte? Das geht wirklich nicht. Sie haben schon wieder. Und das ist hier wirklich. Wirklich. So if someone wants to complain, then one can say, astute mich. It disturbs me. When, if. For example, if I say it uh, disturbs me, if someone plays the loud music. It disturbs me when someone, uh, when someone play the loud music in car. It uh, disturbed me when someone parked the cycle in front of my house door. Yeah. Ich finde es nicht gut when. I find it not good if. So I don't find it good when someone parked the bicycle in front of my door. Sie können doch nicht hier parken. You cannot park here. Sie können doch nicht hier rauchen. You cannot do the smoking here. You cannot cook in the park. Entschuldigen Sie, können Sie bitte, excuse me, could you please? So for example, someone is cooking in the gallery, in the balcony, okay? So balcony mein jab koi cook karega, to obviously neighbors ko problem hoga. So one can say, excuse me, could you please cook inside? Could you please cook in the kitchen? Das geht wirklich nicht. One can say, hello, this will not be possible. This will not work. Okay, you can't do it here. So das geht wirklich nicht. That won't be bearable. Sie haben schon wieder. You have again. Schon wieder means warning So Sie haben schon wieder ihr bicycle, ihr Fahrrad hier abgestellt. Und Sie haben schon wieder im 
balcon oder im park kochen oder gekocht you are again this particular area so this is the way to we can say just to complain and here zish and shulian to say sorry if someone wants to say sorry then okay himanshi you can read zish and shul digen das haben ich nicht gewos ich möchte mich ent entschuldigen das kommt nicht mehr vor das wollte ich nicht es tut mir schrick uh, schrecklich sehr leid also das habe ich nicht gewusst gewusst is a third form of wissen wissen means to know so that i haven't no or i haven't knew i didn't knew that i didn't know mujhe iske bare mein nahi pata tha jab aap kisi se sorry bolte to kya bolte ho sorry sorry mujhe idea nahi tha ha mujhe nahi pata tha ich möchte mich entschuldigen i want to say sorry i want to apologize myself das kommt nicht mehr vor mehr vor for common means kisi bhi cheez ka repeat hona so das kommt nicht mehr vor means it will not be repeated phir se nahi hoga kabhi das wollte ich nicht that i didn't want main aisa nahi chahti thi i stood me shrekish or a zer like i am so sorry i am very very sorry extremely sorry now i am lenken मीन्स जब आपसे कोई कुछ डिस्कस करे आप उसको सुन के और जस्ट अपना कोई भी कॉम्प्लीमेंट पास करके निकल जाते हो या सब पॉजिटिवली कि हाँ हाँ ठीक है ये सब हो गया ओके नाउ एवरीथिंग इज परफेक्ट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स हैज ऑलरेडी सॉल्व तो ऐसे कुछ कॉम्प्लीमेंट दे के निकल जाना इज आई एम लेंथ सो नाउ आई थिंक छवि यू कैन रीच ein lenken ist ja schon gut schon okay na ja wenn das so ist na gut ist nicht so schlimm vergessen wir das das ist schon in ordnung is ya shon good means like ya everything is fine shon good already good shon okay already okay na ya when the so is ya ya when something is like this yeah then one can inform one can say sorry yeah one should pay the fine na good is the nicht so schlimm aha it's okay not so bad schlimm is not much bad vergessen wir das let's forget it bhul jate hain is cheez ko that's is shown in order that's already in order means that is already perfect everything is managed now so haben sie hier fragen wollen sie hier etwas fragen nichts nein mam okay dann gehen wir weiter ja himanshu bitte uh mam wirk uh, wirklich means wirklich really really uh, mam ordnung means uh, mam all right ordnung means something which is in already disciplined Means something which is already solved. Problem, sub order. I have come. Means order. Means that something has been solved. Correct. 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 Correct
मैम इफ आई वांट टू से ऑल राइट इन जर्मन देन आलस से आलस इज इन ऑड नो ओके मैम सो हियर वी हैव एन ड्राई बिल्डर ओन जस्ट इट हियर ऑफ ड्राई सेट्स या वी मिस इन द बिल्डर सेहन ओन द सेट्स लेजन ओन दन वी मिस इन हियर schreiben wo sagt the frau was where the lady is saying what so match with the pictures you have one minute मैम पैकेट मीन्स पैकेज ना पैकेट इज पैकेट पैकेट ओके so here is thus ich erwarte ein paket i am expecting a packet könnten sie es bitte für mich annehmen could you please accept it for me annehmen means to accept erwarten means to expect i'm say say mom yes okay Next, Lena, Ryan, bitte die Spülmaschine aus. Ah. Uh, ma'am, B. Uh, no, sorry, ma'am, A. A. Uh. Ausräumen means to clean something. So this is here. Kannst du heute den Kleinen abholen? Can you pick up the kid today? Kleinen means ja, chota bacha. 
क्या तुम आज छोटे को पिक कर लोगे दिस इज सो इन ऑल दीज थ्री सेंटेंसेस वी कैन सी काइंड ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इज गिवन जब हम किसी से रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं तो हमने ए वन में सीखा इंपारेटिव बिटर वर्ड के साथ में यूज कर सकते हैं या बिटर कॉमन सी बिटर गेहन सी बिटर त्रिंकन सी तो बिटर के साथ में हम इंपारेटिव सेंटेंस बनाकर हम किसी से रिक्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं फिर हमने थोड़ा सा और एडवांस सीखा तो हमें पता चला मोडाल वो क्योनन के साथ में इंफिनेटिव यूज करते हुए भी हम रिक्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं कैन यू गिव मी वन ग्लास वॉटर कैन यू गो आउटसाइड कैन यू एंड कैन यू ब्रिंग समथिंग समथिंग बट नाउ टूडे वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न वन स्टेप एडवांस एंड दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू ऑन द स्क्रीन और जो वाट एंड सी फ्यूर आइन पर सेकुंटल You can just have a look of first sentence here given. See the structure of first sentence. What new thing is given for you? If you go to the sentence structure in the first, there is kyonton. Kyonton is more polite verb that we can use. for the request if you are requesting someone and like if you are saying can you go outside and usi ka more polite form hota hai could you go outside could you please do this so to can se could hum use karte hain german mein uske liye kyonton hota hai kyonan se hi banta hai kyonton Kyonton Z near Peter. Could you please? So आपको ये चीज याद रखना है जैसे कि इंग्लिश में हम कैन तो एक डायरेक्टली रिक्वेस्ट के लिए यूज करते हैं लेकिन जब हम और ज्यादा पोलाइट होना चाहते हैं तो हम कैन की जगह कुड लगा देते हैं कुड यू प्लीज हेल्प मी कुड यू प्लीज गिव मी दिस पेपर या सो हियर इन जर्मन क्योनन से क्योंटन हो जाता है फिर अब यहाँ पे देखिएगा According to the pictures, हमारे पास कुछ एक्सप्रेशन गिवन है तो हमारा टारगेट है पहले हम सारे एक्सप्रेशन को यहाँ देखते हैं सो जस्ट लाइक फर्स्ट सिचुएशन आपके सामने है मे बी आपको क्या लगता है ये फोटो कहाँ की है वो वारन दी लॉयचर मैम मेरे या बैंक एट द विंडो एट द डेस्क एट द पोस्ट ऑफिस सो हियर जस्ट गिव मी कपल ऑफ सेकंड्स लेट मी सेट द पेज Here, near by the house of Gab, help. Near by the house of Gab, help. What do you think? Which picture can be related to the expression? Eight. Ah. Ah. Okay. My I cows passion travel. Sieben. These are the iron cows fashion shopping bags. Tragen means to carry. Near iron stift lion. Six. Six. Yeah. To borrow or lend the pen. Swift is the pen. Near, meet them. Kinder wagon helpen. 
Zwein. Zwein. Das ist hier Kinderwagen. Meinen Computer reparieren. Nein. 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 Repair my computer. Das Fenster schließen. Close the window. Fear. Fear. Mir die Uhrzeit sagen. Drei. Drei. Tell me the time. Nein. No. Mir Geld wechseln. Just change money for me. Oil. Ein. Okay. Und mir ein Glas Wasser geben. Oh, Give me oh. one glass of water. Oh. So now what you have to do? Follow the four structure. Just you now you know very well which picture is related to the which expression. So you have to see the picture and you have to write nine sentences in your notebook quickly. All the sentence you have to start. It means could you please? Yaha pe aap formally request kar rahe kisi se. To aap kyonton z use kar rahe. Agar aap informally request karte hain. So, after sentence, Kyontis do ho sakta hai. Kyontis do, informal, formal hai to Kyonten z. Kyontis do bitter the tour, Schleesen. Could you please close the door? And jab aap near word laga reo, it means for me, mere liye. Kya tum please mere liye ye shopping bags carry karo ke? So, it is up to you ki aap kyonten z use karte ho ya kyontes do use karte ho. You need to write nine sentences quickly in your notebook. And when you have written all nine sentences, then raise the hand. And I would like to listen from you. Take your time. Kyonten z meer geld wechseln. Konnten Sie mir bitte, mir, bitte, ist, mir bitte Geld wechseln? Okay, konnten Sie mir bitte Geld wechseln? It means? Mom, could you change the money? Correct. Could you please change the money for me? Okay. Photo 2. Kannst du mir mit dem Kinderwagen helfen? Okay, und was bedeutet das? Can you help me with the kids stroller? Okay, so musst du hier kannst du schreiben oder könntest du bitte? Kannst du? Write kannst oder könntest? I'm kannst. कांस तो हमने आज नया क्या सीखा फिर आपने क्योंटन हाँ तो क्योंटेस्ट क्योंटेस्ट मियर बीटर मीट देम किंडर बाग एंड हेल्पन कुड यू प्लीज हेल्प मी बाय द किड्स the uh, vehicle or this kids, uh, what do we say, tram? Okay. Okay, photo number dry. Kyonan zi mir bitte di urzeit sagen. Again, you are using Kyonan. I said Kyonan ka hi apu conjugation. Kyonan zi mir bitte di urzeit sagen. Yeah, restish. And was we don't did thus? Could you please tell me the time? All right, danke. Photo number four and five. Könnten Sie mir bitte die Fenster zoom lüften öffnen? Can Sie mir bitte die Fenster zoom lüften öffnen? Öffnen. 
whatever given that we can use no extra information ma'am okay only this Could you can. please close the window for me? It is okay, not can. Now it is could. More polite form. Okay, ma'am. Tell me for the next. Kyunchen si meir bite ein glas wasser geben. Kevin, could you please give me one glass water? Perfect. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, photo number six. Kyonton Zimir Bitter Einen Stift Lehen Lion Lion. Can you please borrow the pen? Could you please borrow the pen for me? All right. Kyonton Zimir Bitter Ein Meiner Einkauf Station Tragen. Hmm. Can you please, uh, can you please uh, could wear? You please, could you please uh, carry my carry my shopping, uh, bags. shopping bags for me? All right, thank you. Yes. Kyunton Z Mio Bitte by then a house of carbon mark helfen. Okay. Kyunton Z Mio Bitte mine and computer reparium. Okay, who was with our tricks? Can you please help me with the homework and yeah. can you please uh, help me in repairing computer? All right, thank you, Sean. So, we are making an aufgabe here. Course book. Aufgabe C. Es gibt hier, bitten Sie Ihre Nachbarn um einen Gefallen. Gefallen means to favor. So request to your neighbor for a favor. Notieren Sie zu jeder Situation eine höfliche Bitte. Write the polite request for every situation. There are three situations given. First, Sie fahren zwei Wochen in Urlaub. You are going in holidays for two weeks. Sie wollen etwas kochen, reparieren und brauchen etwas. You want to cook something or you want to repair something or you want to do something. So you need something. Sie schaffen etwas nicht allein. Something that you cannot manage alone. Aap akele kuch hai jo manage nahi kar pa rahe, so obviously you need help. Take the help of these words and please write three different different requesting sentences and send me here in the chat box. I am waiting. Please do use kyonton, conjugation of kyonton in your sentences. Hier gibt es auch ein Beispiel, Sie können die Hilfe von nehmen. Sentences you have written, Könnten uh, Sie bitte ein Faxen für mich annehmen? Könnten Sie mir bitte meine Katze füttern? Könnten Sie mir bitte mit Kochen helfen? So this is fifth exercise. Zagan Zi is fearfully sure. You have to tell them with the more politeness and write all the sentences using the word Kyonton. And here's Mia. Kyontes do Mia helpen. Could you please help me? Kyontes do Mia helpen. Actually, you have a given sentence. Hai. Help Mia. Help me. Yaha sentence you have without conjugation hai. 
तो विदाउट कॉन्जुकेशन जब भी होता है तो वो हम उसके लिए अज्यूम करते हैं कि ये इनफॉर्मल था इनफॉर्मल मीन्स वो डू के फॉर्म में सेंटेंस था तो हम इसको क्योंटिन के साथ में कर रहे हैं तो वो हो जाएगा क्योंटिस्ट डू मियर हेल्प कुड यू हेल्प मी द सेम वे हियर ऑल्सो रूफ मी शान कॉल मी दिस इज ऑल्सो विदाउट एनी सब्जेक्ट और एनी कॉन्जुकेशन सो यू कैन ऑल्सो अगेन हियर से वट सेंटेंस वी कैन राइट हियर Please tell me. Countess do Mish Androfen. Yeah, Countess do Mish Androfen. Could you call me? Yeah. यहाँ पे उमलाउट नहीं लगाया मैंने सो इफ उमलाउट इज नॉट अवेलेबल यू कैन पुट एक्स्ट्रा ई ओके नेक्स्ट नियर दी टूअर अफमाखन कैन यू ऑल ओपन द डोर फॉर मी एंड दिस इज हियर द फॉर्म क्यों टीयर अब मुझे इसको मोर पोलाइट बनाना तो क्या बन जाएगा परफेक्ट गेबन सी मियर यहाँ क्या बनेगा यस यस नियर बिट आई गेबन हियर क्योंकि वर्ब से स्टार्ट हो रहा है तो हम इसको क्योंटन से स्टार्ट कर देंगे बाकी इंफॉर्मेशन क्यों क्यों जी नियर इयर पाराड लाइन वॉट चेंज इज पॉसिबल हियर या Full sentence. Kyonton Z near bitter Ina Farhad Lion. Yeah, ear Farhad Lion, your bicycle. Just ear near the packet not open. Carry uh, this packet for me above. Ah, uh, Kyonton Z das packet for me not not open again. Yeah, rich dish. But the sentence, uh, see what is the subject? Kyontetir. Kyontetir mia das paket na ho ban dragon. This will be okay, ma'am. Take the screenshot, please. then mam yes so now it's time for the homework write down please homework aufgabe 1a arbeitsbuch 1a Aufgabe zwei a, eins a, zwei a. Sieben a, eins a, zwei a, sieben a. Und Vokabular, zweite Nummer. 120 und 121. Nur das ist die Hausaufgabe.